In this video, you will learn how to personalize keys in the activity row. You can add user-specific words to the activity row. Remember, the activity row is the top row of vocabulary that contains quick messages and tools. Today, you will learn how to add words or messages to these activities. Locate and open the Me activity. The Me activity is a row of messages that contains personal information about the individual, like name, my name is, address, I live in, and phone number. My phone number is, in this example, we will be personalizing the name key. Next, find the key with the name tag on it, but do not touch it. From here, press the toolbox key, then the setup key. You will notice a set of keys that drop down on the left hand side. The setup key is in the second row. The setup key allows you to change a key. Now select the key with the name tag on it because that is the key you want to change. You will see a red box around the key you are changing. We are now ready to personalize this key. To save yourself time, it is most efficient to program in the following order. First, start with change icon, then spell message or define key function, and end with change label. These keys are light blue in color and numbered 1 through 3. Start with number 1, change icon, in the bottom left hand corner. This is where you will select a symbol for the key. In this example, we are going to search for an icon by category. Find the people category in the third column and third row. Then the subcategory of people again in the top row. Choose the picture you want by touching it. You now see the symbol of the girl in the key. Now touch spell message or define key function. This is where we type what the communication device will speak. Type the person's name. To capitalize the first letter, touch the shift key and then keep typing. The shift key will automatically unlock itself after the first letter. In this example, I am going to type the name Jane. Put a period and then a space. As a rule of thumb, always put a space after the last character, so the next spoken word does not run on to the previous words. Press OK in the bottom right hand corner. Finally, change the label by touching Change Label. The label is the word that appears above the symbol on the key. First, clear the label by touching Clear Display in the top left hand corner. Then type the person's name. Press OK. Your key is now programmed with a symbol, message, and label. So press OK one more time. Now you can play the message back. My name is Jane. In this next example, we will be adding a word to the activity row after a core word is spoken. The individual using this device loves pizza. So we will add the word pizza to the activity row after the word eat is spoken, so the individual could say, eat pizza. First, touch the word eat. Eat. Next, hit the toolbox key and then your setup key. Now touch the key for jello. Notice the red box around the jello key. We are going to change the word jello to pizza because this particular individual does not like Jello and they love pizza. Clear the key by touching Clear Key Contents on the right-hand side of the screen. Note the key you are programming is now empty with a red box around it. Then begin to program your key. Touch Change icon in the bottom left-hand corner to find a picture of pizza. This time, we are going to search for icons by spelling instead of by category. Touch spell icon to find in the lower left hand corner of the screen. Type the word pizza. 
Then hit OK. Touch the picture of pizza that you like best. At this point, you will notice that your message says pizza and your label says pizza. So you are now finished programming this key. If there are other keys in that row that you want to change, move the red box around another key by pressing it. Repeat the same steps. If you want to move a key to the left or to the right, use the change position arrow at the bottom of the screen. People like to put the most popular items in the first row and save the second row for less popular items. To move back and forth between rows, use the previous items and the more items keys on the left hand side of the screen. If you run out of room and need a new row, simply touch add new row, it is on the right hand side of the screen. And say no, you do not want a copy of the current row. A new blank row will appear at this time. Once you are done customizing this row, hit the OK key. You now can say, eat pizza. Eat pizza. Thank you for learning how to add messages and words to the activity row.